so before this video even gets started i just want to tell you guys i do apologize about the audio the audio for whatever reason is now going in and out but when i do like voiceovers or when i like record like this the audio is just fine and on some videos the audio was just fine me and jay did a whole sponsorship video and the audio the audio was messed up so i will be doing a voice over on this video so yeah also don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and facebook all those links are in the description take you directly to my uh account my store is in the description my paypal is in the description if you want to donate anything but my gofundme is for my kids attorney if you have anything anything will help that's down in the description as well you can see me grow uh you can see the uh gofundme grow go grow as it go or whatever versus a uh, paypal but you both of them are like uh what do you call it a charitable donation so you can still write both of them off on your tax so right here i'm just filling out paperwork uh this is my first time going to this doctor my boys have been here i believe in january so yeah dilated pew uh-uh you can't see sit down so again the audio started messing up but that yellow stuff that he had put in my eyes was like coming out or either my eyes were so dilated i couldn't see nothing but it was it's just crazy having somebody like squirt something in your eyes i don't know how to really explain it but uh it feel like uh they about to what do you call it it feels like they about to poke or touch your eye or whatever they using to numb your eyes uh the yellow stuff i honestly don't even know what that was or what it was for but i do know he put some yellow stuff in my eyes because i was wiping it away before he dilated my eyes and i guess it was the doctor assistant i don't know so here it is uh I think this is after he put the yellow stuff in my eyes because he's already dabbing yellow stuff away. And I was jumping just because I was nervous of the stuff, like him poking me in my eye and putting my whole eye out. Like, yeah, I'm I'm sensitive about my eyes. They're the only ones I got, even though I'm blind, it's bad. But he didn't do nothing wrong. I was just nervous. Yeah, he put some yellow stuff in my eyes. And again, I don't know if he was an assistant or if he's supposed to have been shadowing the doctor, or if he's like a resident in training, like an eye doctor, I don't know. But he did a lot of my uh, appointment that normally the eye doctor does, but he did it. Like they were way more thorough, but he just had like a blue like little lens thing and it got real close to my eye. And I don't know, I did good with the, I believe the right one, but the left one I was tripping about. So yeah, and yeah, this is, I haven't, I don't remember ever going to an eye doctor that's been this thorough with checking my eyes and making sure, I guess, nothing's wrong with my eyes. Uh, but yeah, it, and that little blue thing, y'all, look like a contact lens. Like, it's shaped like a contact lens. Like, it's crazy. But I will be going back to this doctor. Like, I love, like, the how thorough they are with checking your eyes. They're not just throwing you into some stuff. And yeah, he's just checking him. Like I said, I think that he's in training, y'all. But he did great. He was a cool dude. Like he was real, real cool. I didn't I don't have no complaints with this whole office. You know, the glasses part where I picked the glasses. I didn't too much care for the uh person in there. But everybody else were was nice. Uh not were but was nice. And I think he's putting I think he's dilating my eyes at this point, y'all. And I'm just scary and like <laughs> he thought that it was in there well really one of them it was in there but the other one it wasn't i think i closed my eyes then he just decided to drown me like y'all i'm so blind i think he was holding up one but it looked like two or the two had looked at like three like yeah it is ridiculous i'm only 30 and just blind as a bat also when i went and picked up my contacts like the lady she redid this again so my eyes are getting worse and worse by the second all right so he uh i haven't did one of these in a long time either he gave me like a little instrument uh that i had to put on one eye not one eye, but both eyes uh one at a time or whatever 
and read the screen that's in front of me but it also projects behind me but uh i don't think jay got that footage or whatever because i had to bring this up close um i don't know y'all i couldn't really see anything from that but like i said and i said again i love how thorough they are with my uh eye exam i haven't had nobody this thorough in a minute also they didn't tell me that you know and that was just me flipping it over to the other side i don't know if i had on my glasses or if i had to do this like freestanding i think i had my glasses on so yeah they just want to see how good i can see with the glasses i already had on so hopefully when i get my prescription it's not too strong also i was going to say i like the fact that uh they they wasn't telling me that i'm going blind i do like for people to be honest with me and tell me the truth if something's really going on with me but they wasn't even negative i like that spirit that they had up here and i believe this is like the end of the whole little session okay this clip you see the actual eye doctor uh she was in there you know me and jay try to respect people we don't like to record people but uh she was in here she just was getting basic inflammation and wanted to know uh was i getting contacts or glasses and my insurance cover both because like i said my vision is so terrible you guys like it covers both uh a year supply of contacts and uh, i get one pair of glasses per year or whatever and i think i was telling her about my astigmatism, or however you say it. Um, I have that in both of my eyes. I think Jackson has one too. So yeah. Also, she took the glasses so she could put it on some type of machine to kind of tell the prescription and the strength of the glasses that I already have, which the glasses or the contacts I'm about to get uh, went up maybe two because I believe I was like negative seven and 725 because one of my eyes are stronger than the other one um uh, i think my left one is stronger than my right one i'm not too sure about that but yeah i have to have a stronger prescription for my right eye than the left one and i believe she just was starting the uh exam and my eyes was dilated so i really couldn't see nothing like everything looked like a blur so she just was like well what can you see in the clear like what can you see clearly and yeah wasn't nothing clearly but i forgot my eyes was dilated and everything was blurry so yeah and no and my last eye doctor he didn't just dilate my eyes like that like when he put those glasses on me i can see so i don't know if these glasses are going to be too strong or what but even after he dilated my eyes i um uh, i can still see you guys so i don't know because like even when they started with the exam i can see it was clear seeing the letters but everything that was white was like blurry like i don't know what type of whatever they use to dilate your eyes but yeah that stuff was on 10 and i couldn't see nothing like bright stuff like even when we went outside the bright stuff i could not see like it just was like i don't know i felt like i was a bat with uh with that uh with that dilation after they dilated it it took about maybe two to three hours before it even had uh were off where i could actually see without the uh glare of everything yeah so right here she just was telling me where to go to get my contacts and where to go to get my glasses she kind of was asking me about my insurance i guess they really don't deal with it a lot but yeah So right here, Jay was kind of just asking me, like, what is this room? This is where they uh, show you how to put on your contacts and stuff like that. Uh, I forgot what else he was asking me. Y'all, this audio is sucking, like, on this phone for whatever reason. It's all of a sudden going out. But I just was telling him that, you know, the uh, person that works in here with the contacts, they just make sure you can put the contacts in, take the contacts out, make sure you're not scared to poke your eye, touch your eye, and stuff like that. So, uh, I want to go, I look greasy as crap, y'all, and it's really not that bad outside, but I want to go ahead and tell y'all before y'all even watch the next snippet of this video, this whole, before, everything that I recorded was a great experience, it was a great experience, it was good how thorough they was, but the next part of this video is a rant, so if you don't want to see the rant, you might want to go ahead and click off, but yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about the last part of this, uh, visit here at the little rock eye clinic 
of what is the exec executive uh, court, I believe. All right, so I'm gonna start with the beginning. Jackson and Sleepy Julian went in there and woke him up, so yeah. But what I was going to say, it first went in, like, uh, I went in by myself. Jay was in there. Y'all know he smokes. So he was in the car still smoking. Uh, and I want to just give y'all, like, the whole experience of just my first interaction and contact with everybody to explain why this is even a rant. But uh, it was four people. It's like a big, it's like a big O. Or whatever or zero or whatever you want to call it and it's uh two people in the front two people in the back um the two people in the front of it like as soon as you walk in they it was like people with them uh people basically getting served or whatever and then i went to like the other side i told the girl you know i was like excuse me uh i'm trying to check in do i check in here or do i just go to you know the eye doctor's part and check in or whatever and she she had a little nasty attitude too she was like up uh, you, you check in here uh then she was like do you have a uh are you a new patient i was like yes or whatever and then she was like well i need your insurance card and your id and i gave it to her she uh then uh gave me back my information told me to go over there and see the person that uh that the doctor is at or whatever so I took the paperwork, like the new patient part of the paperwork over there to, uh, I guess the doctor's assistant or whatever he was. And I just asked him, I said, do I give it to you or do I supposed to put it in the spot? And he was like, oh, you give it to me. Real nice. From the time I went over there, real nice. Uh, I gave it to him. He told me to sit and, and fill out the clipboard part of it. That's what I was doing. Then he came back and got me. He said, okay. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go in room two. And he just was like, started getting like basic information from me. Cause I don't worry about that paperwork you can finish. You're gonna have time to finish that paperwork or whatever, which I did. Uh, y'all seen that, y'all seen that the dude, uh, he basically put the yellow stuff in my eye, did the whole little blue thing, the close to my eye that I was tripping about. He uh, dallied in my eyes, did another part, like two other parts of the exam. And then the, actual doctor came in she was real nice uh and again i dealt with her with these two well with uh jackson and julian she has always been real nice and real thorough even with their eye exam it was better than the eye exam that julian had got the previous two years uh before this one so okay that was fine did that whole appointment well it did the whole part of the appointment then y'all seen that i just went to the contact place uh where lady give me the contacts and stuff like that um, yeah, she got the contacts, boo boo. So I went to get the uh, contacts, tell her my prescription. She also did another vision test on me to see what I could and couldn't see, like how close I could and couldn't see or whatever. I think they're trying to make sure that I'm really not going blind, y'all, because my vision is terrible. Okay, so I asked her, she was like, well, with your insurance, you're definitely gonna get contacts for a year. Uh, she was just like, um, uh, and then I asked her, like, I told her this is my first time here or whatever. Now, this person with the contact place, she was real sweet as well. Like, the I dealt with five people, basically, and three out of the five were nice. Uh, she was real sweet. She said, yo, uh, what you do is, as soon as you walked in, if you would have looked to your left, you would have seen where the glasses, and that's the optics. I think it's called the optics, which is another word for glasses, and the the eye part or whatever she said she has your prescription uh so basically if i wanted to get some color i, I needed my prescription because i needed my prescription if i want to get some color contacts or if i wanted to get some uh more glasses like if these break within a year i could i would already have my prescription i don't have to go to this particular location to get my glasses yeah me and jay were the only people in here and jay didn't record this because basically from the time that we walked in the person just really act like they didn't want to deal with us so we walked in nobody in there we're looking at the glasses and we're like looking at certain glasses and this that and third and i'm like let me go find somebody so we could go because again my eyes are dilated i cannot really see anything like that um so i'm going and she met me and she was like well how can i help you and i was like i'm trying to pick up my prescription and pick out some glasses and uh she was like 
uh okay have you been here before nope she asked my name i gave her my name and uh she uh was like i'll be right back and then she told me well with your insurance you can only pick from these glasses and she went and got the thing and she was like uh have a seat and these are the glasses that you can pick from y'all i have a real like I have a bifocal lens, so it's real thick. So the fact that she showed me, like she took out all the thick glasses that there was, like the uh, frame was thick, cause cause basically like JK wear thin, he can pretty much get away with any type of frame that he want. But my glasses are so my my lenses are so thick, y'all, it's ridiculous. Like I have to have a thicker frame for my glasses to even halfway look right. Now I do know that you can get anti glare glasses, you can get anti scratch glasses, and you could get uh, even your bifocal lenses thinner to fit, but it costs like it costs almost another. It costs as much as the, almost getting another pair of glasses. So she she did all that to then ask me y'all. Well, you got glasses on. Like, has it been a year since you got those glasses? Like, and I was like, no. But my whole thing is, y'all act like somebody can't buy glasses. Then you act as if these glasses are not scratched they don't give they don't break none of that like the lenses on my glasses do have a big scratch on them like i don't know how but that's probably why i was already invested in some anti-scratch glasses so i can keep them uh she had an attitude about it and when i told her to know these are uh from a previous year it could have been about two years ago but my thing is they don't mean that this is even my right prescription since i just seen the eye doctor and i had said that they told me to come here to get my prescription so if i'm coming here to get my prescription i must don't have the correct prescription so uh and she kind of looked and like rolled her eyes like i gotta sit here and do some type of work then uh i kind of like during this whole experience i kind of was looking at jay like is this is this is this really how this person is acting like really like am i'm tripping or i'm, I'm over exaggerating y'all because y'all know that i go from zero to 100 real fast like i don't have a problem with telling nobody about themselves. i don't have no problem with saying anything like but i do know that that's what people expect people expect you to be get old the typical get old black female like i get that though uh so i don't act like that normally but i was ready to go because and that's the only reason why she didn't get it and i didn't speak to her supervisor when i was there because i was ready to go i already could not see nothing and that's irritating because you can't see nothing and then when you can't see because your eyes are dilated you're dealing with somebody with a nasty attitude and i'm like and it wasn't even a fact that maybe this woman was having a bad day uh maybe she was just ready to go or even that we was packed because earlier in the conversation you heard me say the first thing that i asked for was my prescription to pick out glasses up we can go basically and uh and i wasn't rude because i had a whole good experience i had no reason to think that you were going to be rude and i really believe that she don't like black and brown people like because when i uh i have learned that when you're dealing with these type of these particular people they just racist you don't have to do anything to them they're just racist so with all that being said she gave me my uh she told me the glasses and she was like, well, you can pick between the cheetah print or the black ones or whatever, leopard chain or whatever it was, or those or whatever. And like, she was mad that I was actually trying on glasses to see could they fit my face, like my, would they look all right on my face? Like square glasses, square frames look better on me than uh, like circle ones. But the two big square ones look stupid on me because my, again, the lens, the uh, prescription is so thick, they look like bottle caps. So those thick long glasses that's in style right now, I can't wear, uh, which is fine because like I said uh, earlier, if I said earlier and didn't delete that footage, I only wear my glasses uh, maybe two to three times a month. That's when my contacts get bad and I sleep. I don't sleep in my uh, contacts because it messes up your eyes as well. So yeah, long story short, when I went, like I had asked this person several times for my prescription so i need my prescription if i want to get cut or contacts for one or if i rip some contacts and i still need to order some more contacts i'm gonna need my prescription so and if i need to get some glasses if i break my glasses sit on some glasses find somewhere cheaper to get glasses if i get anti-scratch if i get the glasses that i just was telling you guys about i need my prescription so she kind of like she like normally when you're done with something because like it was a yellow folder then it was my prescription but normally when you're done someone tells you you know uh okay uh because I was looking like, do we have to sign anything or can we go? And she kind of just looked us up and down like, why are y'all still here type thing? And then when I again asked for my prescription, 
she instead of handing me the paper or even if you don't want to touch me because you didn't want my black skin to affect you because that's really how you are like you could have just been like the white paper is your copy and went on to the other person but no you sat here and instead of just handing me the paper you kind of shoved it at me like that like uh here go on here if it get out or whatever like y'all i could not see you. that's the only reason why i didn't speak to a supervisor and basically they make a scene and i honestly like i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it 1000 that's the only reason why scene was not created uh yeah so if you live in a little rock area everything is cool with uh Matter of fact, the only black eye doctor that I've seen in the Little Rock area at the Little Rock Eye Clinic, she is, the reviews on her that's actually good, those are true reviews. She is a great eye doctor. Uh, and I had a good experience other than, you know, the glasses part. So if you get in context and you don't have to get glasses, your experience should be great. If you get both, I don't know what to say because it was this older woman in there, which was the rude one. It was a younger girl in there and she kind of, I guess was on break and I didn't deal with her. So I'm not going to say everybody in there is like that, but this particular person was like that like she had a nasty attitude from the get-go and didn't really want to help us from the get and i don't understand yeah i don't understand why people work in customer service because in customer service you're dealing with all walks of the park you never know who you're serving you don't know if you're serving a police officer you don't know if you're serving a mayor you don't know if you're serving a crackhead you never know what type of person you're serving don't go get no job in customer service if you don't like to deal with customers of all skin tones and that's just that's just how I'm going to leave that. Uh, but yeah, you guys, that was my uh, experience, my review, my story time, my rant, whatever you want to call it. That was that. Again, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Those links are in the description. My PayPal is in the description. Uh, my GoFundMe is in the description for my kids' attorneys. All that is in the description. It was something else I want to tell y'all about the experience, but I kind of forgot, and I know this premiere will be extra, extra long if I keep uh, going. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all, he's sleeping. Jack and Julian keep waking him up.